So Amber, who's going to win the match? I want to hear you loud. Bohemians or St. Patrick's Athletic? St. Patrick's Athletic. Are you going to give us a song? Uh, yeah. Oh, St. Patrick's Athletic. Give us another song. Go on. Quick. Ooh, baby. Joe oh, Raymond is the best, best on earth, the best defender in the yeah, Premier baby. League. He'll take part, you see the FAI Cup. Oh. Alright guys, we're obviously here in Richmond Park ahead of the Cup Final tomorrow, really looking forward to it. Um, getting a bit nervous now as a Pats fan, I have to say. Usually do these vlogs, I'm not that nervous and uh, I'm neutral and all that, but uh, it's going to be tight, I think. I, got, I think Pats will edge it though, I think they'll have a bit more guts and a bit more leadership on the day, but... Uh, yeah, getting nervous. Yeah. Billy, how's it feel to be in enemy territory even? <laughs> so Amber, what do you think your new hat? I know Billy's not impressed. Oh, what do you think your new hat? He's not impressed because he's a stupid Bose fan. Okay, but what do you think your new hat? Um, I love it. I have it's to say, it really suits you. It's one of the best ones. Ever. <laughs> Guess what? We're suddenly in Finsbury. That's magic, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Right, Billy, nervous about tomorrow? I mean, obviously, if you're a Pats or a Bose fan, you're obviously going to be nervous. But um, I think I think this will be a very good game. I think this Bose will have the James Clark and Aflabi combo will be a big part of this game because they've been doing it all season. So for the biggest match, I hope you do it. You gonna win? We'll see. Yeah, obviously. But it'll be a very good atmosphere. Um, to be just, he'll be. Good. It's just gonna be good to be there as well. And yeah. Oh yeah, we are bows. 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 Is this breakfast of champions? Or breakfast of losers, Billy. And breakfast of a champion. Here with me, Ushin, come all the way down from the Obviously, it's a great pleasure. Obviously, Ushin, massive Finn Harps fan, massive League of Ireland fan, and a bit of a legend of the DJ scene in Ireland, has to be said at this stage. Ushin, congrat
looking forward to this one? I'm looking forward to it here last year. It was hard to watch, Jerry. What was what's your finish for all the ball last year? Thank God. So I'm really looking forward to it now. I really, I'm really a bozo to do something today, to be honest. The feeling place is going to win it, do you? I do. Tell me, bozo, what an awful happy I'm saying. Maybe Dylan Conley here as well. We've got to see him winning as well. First time in the last year. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens.
Joe Redmond, two ones to pass the leg. What a ball in for the free kick from Mulraney, and that's what he gives you. Two one pass. Very good start to the second half.
Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for today's officials, referee Paul McGuire. So guys, that's the end of the, the vlog, just on the way home now. Obviously finished Bohemian's one, St. Patrick's Athletic Tree. So, and um Bo's tree there's noise everywhere. But um look, I mean Bowes went in front through Afalabi penalty. I need to see that again. I personally didn't think it was a penalty, but I need to see it again. I stand to be corrected. I stand to be corrected. Um Mark Doyle equalised for Pats. Um Joe Redmond made a 2-1 from a Jake Mulroney free kick and Lonergan sealed it to make a 3-1 and uh, I don't know Billy from your perspective from Bowie's point of view obviously you're disappointed there's no doubt about that to be fair but how like how did you feel from a Bowie's point of view they weren't that great I've got to be honest Pat, Pat's um, had the upper hand the whole entire game they just had more like players that stood out for me than Bose yeah. and they had more chances and they took them but mm. Bose, Bose mm. didn't have as much chances um, they mm. have one, they had one chance with the Flores free kick that hit the post yeah that was actually that was a good effort yeah. but overall they didn't create anything Pats are just more standout players that you, you can say yeah I mean I suppose you, you always felt like Pats had more control of the game and this like I felt like this coming into it I was kind of I was trying to be logical coming into the game and uh, putting aside that I'm a Pats fan, to be honest, and uh, I was, um, I'll turn around here actually. Yeah, I was trying to kind of put my logical head on as if I wasn't a Pats fan, and in a way, as a Pats fan, that made me nervous in a way, but I kind of felt like, um, I felt like how are going, Bowles going to win this game, apart from maybe a bit of luck or something like that. And look, they had the platform, they went 1-0 up, and you thought that gives them the platform at least so maybe you never know what can happen here but it just felt like Bowles or sorry Pats are more leaders on the pitch at the start of the game this was my thoughts and Pats would find a way somehow to win the game you saw Jamie Lennon in my opinion was definitely a man of the match he was brilliant he kept Jamie Clark out of the game um, Joe Remond was good as well overall in the game and just Pats are more leadership in the team and a bit more nous and a bit more guts I think to be honest with you and just you know what I mean? Bowles, I don't know, there was a lot of noise coming out of Bowles during the week and I just felt like Declan Devine said a few things and I'll be honest, I felt like he was wrong to say them. I really did. I felt he put more pressure on Bohemians going into the game and it panned out in a sense the way I felt like it panned out and that's not me saying that as some kind of cocky Pats fan or anything like that. No way, absolutely not. That's just the way I felt and if I was a Shamrock Rovers or Shelburne fan or Cork fan or a Galway fan, I would have thought the same way and you never know what's going to happen in the cup final. But that was just my feeling. Um, and they ran out in the end kind of comfortable enough winners. So, look, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Let me know what you thought of the game. If you're a Bulls fan, you're obviously going to be very disappointed. And I understand that. It is disappointing. But it was a great day. We had a record attendance, to be fair. Um, brilliant for the League of Ireland. And look, from a Bulls point of view, I was saying it to Billy as well. Like it, it took Pats a long, long time. A long, long time to win a cup. And it's funny how sports goes over 60 years. 
and they win three. I think Forrest has won more cups than anybody else, which is mad. They've won three in nine years now, which is crazy considering they went 60 odd years. And this thing, these things happen in sport and football. And I think Bowles, they have got a lot of good things going about them. They have the finance as well. They need to plan things better. From Pats going forward, I really do think Pats have to show a bit of ambition now and and almost go for the league. They have to, they've won two cups in three years. They need to start going for the league now in a, in a proper way and go for the better players. They need a striker. I think Lonergan's a good striker, but the likes of Huben and Keating are available. Pats need to attack these type of players. But for Bowles, look, I don't know if Devine's staying there or not. We're going to have to see, but um, what should the people do, really? Oh. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to push your bell notification button for more videos. Look, it's been a great season guys and there will be plenty more videos coming up but um, see you later.